What's up guys and girls, this is Tim here. Welcome to a new series of Oxygen Not Included. So if you watched my last series, you'll know I did what pretty much every other YouTuber did and saw this game and thought, wow, this is a cool and interesting game. I'm going to have a go at this and then went on it not knowing at all what I was supposed to be doing, made lots of mistakes and killed my colony in pretty short order. Uh, however, also like most of the other YouTubers, I am now coming back with lessons learned and with a whole new update because we are now playing the currently in beta thermal upgrade, um, which as you can see from the little screen in front of us, introduces some nice new features. Uh, and I say, I have played a little bit between now and the last series and I have watched quite a lot of other people playing it so i feel like i'm a lot better prepared for this but we'll go through that once we actually get into the game but before we do that let's have a quick look at the update which is uh main one as, as can be sort of ascertained for the name of thermal upgrade is it's all to do with temperature so there is a new ice biome uh, there are some new machines in the form of a space heater a liquid tepidizer which is a long for basically a cooler of liquids uh, and a textile factory building because there are now custom uh, clothing. There's also some new plants uh, which I haven't seen yet and this one I am most concerned about is the duplicants are now sensitive to temperature and can even get diseases based on those temperatures and given that I didn't do a very good job in the last one of keeping their stress down anyway providing you know all I, all I had to do then was provide with oxygen and food. Uh, what we're going to have to do now in terms of temperature, who knows what's going to happen to my poor, poor colonists. Uh, buildings can now overheat and pipes can burst and circuits can overload. So in general, they've made it a significantly more complicated. So we'll have to deal with that and learn as we go. But without further ado, let's jump on in and select our colonists. Okay, so I've picked out my three colonists and I've been very deliberate in terms of choosing exactly the skills I want. So I have three vomiters. We are not having anyone who's going to destroy our base because that seems like a very bad plan. Uh, and I've got OG, who is a construction, a little bit of digging, a little bit of tinkering. Uh, Joe Bird, who is a very good digger and has creativity. And Madison, who is good at athletics, a bit of tinkering and a bit of learning. And I think that's going to give me a pretty good start. Now, I have to double check this because... I played a practice uh, colony between the last series and this one, and I had like a level 12 uh, architect or painter or something like that, you know, where it says it just below the name, and uh, it turned out that they were incapable of doing art, so I spent ages with no one that could do art, and actually that's quite important. Uh, we're going to have the colony, I've chosen a random one, which is the Starving Abyss, because that feels like it might be, might be suitable, but without further ado, let's dive on in. Ooh, so here we are in our new home. Alert! Yes, we've read that many times, so we don't need to read it again. So let's have a look around. Ooh, somebody just drowned. I know it's a mealwood seed, mealwood plant blow up. Right, let's have a look around. This is, this is, there is not a huge amount of oxygen near me. We have oxygen in here. This is vacuum, 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 carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. A chunk of fresh water over here. But yeah, we are we are actually not not facing a huge amount of uh, of oxygen chambers right here, so that could be quite interesting. Uh, that's fine though. So basically, the plan is I'm going to do something similar to what I did in the last series, where I'm going to have a kind of a pyramid base, but it's going to be slightly less, or the floors are going to be a bit flatter because I think moving up and down the floors all the time was causing them issues in the last uh, series. Um, and I'm going to have some more centralized systems using in, using the gas piping to actually take oxygen and various gases around the base. But obviously that's going to be a way off, so we're going to need to crack on and just get some of the basics. So let's get the first floor put into something suitable. Uh, it's probably worth noticing as well, I'm going to be... Ooh, we need to just dig first. Uh, I'm going to be editing this series a little bit more than the last one, just because, particularly in the early stages, I think most people have seen this kind of early stages of the game so many times now. But I don't think you necessarily need to see it again. Right, let's just get a bit of a floor going. Give us some options. What do you? What, did someone just fart? I think someone just farted. Oh dear. So yeah, you can see on here now it says unrefrigerated because it's temperature. So food is going to spoil until we get a refrigerator. And even potentially, maybe even then. So that's something we need to be very much aware of. Right, I just need to decide... Let's have a look where our water things. In the last one, I painted myself into a bit of a corner because I had I built a water tank fairly close in, and it allowed me or it stopped me from being able to expand out quite as much as I want to. Because I don't want to end up with a really tall base. I only want to have a few layers, uh, so then it's a bit easier for me to pump oxygen into those layers. 
Um, I'm thinking probably have a water tank. Oh, I, I, I prefer having a water tank at the top. Um, not particularly that the mechanics in this game allow for that to be of any use because what I would really like them to do is put a drain in. So I can put a drain in the bottom of this and then run pipes and gravity will feed the water down. But that is not currently a mechanic that this game has. So really, because of that, it doesn't really matter where I put the water tank other than the convenience of building the uh, the pipes. What was that? Oh, we just unlocked the ability to make some other things. Um, who is it that keeps farting? Is it you, Joe Bird, that smells? Uh, have a look. Uh, yeah, you have flatulence. That's why you, you everyone. We're gonna have to give you your own room now because you have a stinky butt. Apparently, and nobody wants to share a room with a stinky butt. Is that one piece of oxalite? I think it is. It looks like it's spreading out into the other one, but I think that's just where the uh, the blocks are merging together. Hmm. So this is quite a difficult one. The problem with this game is I can't just restart over and over again until I get like a really nice colony. I know that's quite cheesy, but it would help. Given I'm gonna hopefully commit quite a while to to progressing this colony. I, um, it would be nice to be able to pick a good start, but ultimately the start is only the start and long-term survival depends on more than that. So I think, let's see, I'm going to make, let's just start marking out a little bit of a concept of the base it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to have, wait, what What did I make here? One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. 16, 17, 18, 19. I can probably, that's probably not bad actually. 19 and then drop down one and a ladder. So what we're going to end up with is gas permeal tiles either side of this. Uh, I'm going to keep the idea, uh, you know, in the last series I had a bit of a well idea. So the around the ladders where the gas could fall down, it would have this kind of indentation to allow the gas to pull down into it i'm going to keep that idea but I, i'm not going to make lots of different steps like i did in the previous series because uh when i came up with that idea i wasn't fully aware of the point of the gas permeable tile uh which kind of i think circumvents the need for that because all the, the gas permeable tile will do is allow gas to go up and down through the base in anywhere regardless of whether or not it's kind of being funneled downwards uh, okay, they're almost finished over here, which is nice. Uh, let's see, what do we build here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I did exactly the right one by pure pure happenstance slash extreme skill. Um, right, dig all this out so we can get to that. Gonna be four high, one, two, three, four, and then the roof will be there. But I've got to wait for that oxalite to go because right now that is the only thing keeping my colonists alive. I feel like there should be more oxalite. But I think oxalite just appears at the uh, in the starting zone. Um, but there's normally a relatively sort of fixed amount of it. But I've got five, six blocks. I'm sure you normally get more than that to start. Unless I've just been massively unlucky. Uh, right, so this is going to form one floor. Um, it's a bit of a catch-22 because I need to obviously start thinking about electricity fairly soon and getting that in. But batteries and, and electrical things make heat. Now, in the past, I've kind of tried to put them towards the top of my base in order to allow the heat to dissipate. But is it a good idea to allow use that heat to keep my colonists warm? Or is it a good idea to keep them away from my colonies because they're going to get too warm. Let's have a quick look. There's a couple of new overlays. Thermal comfort. Okay, so body heat retention is red. Body heat loss is blue. I'm going to guess grey is in sort of Goldilocks zone. Uh, so that is zero. Minus 1.9 kilowatts. Okay, so this is done based on watts. Okay, this is minus 96.9. .9. You've got to be very careful in this game between the difference between like watts and kilowatts. So this is minus 1.9, which you'd be like, oh, that's not much. Whereas as opposed to, wow, minus 90, that's a lot, but that's kilowatts. So that's 1900, and that's just 97 or 96. So you've got to be a little bit aware of that. Um, is this, this is carbon dioxide in here, isn't it? Yeah, they've also changed this overlay. So let's have a quick look at what we are seeing here. 
Um, before it showed the types of gases, now it just says high concentration, sufficient concentration, low concentration, and unbreathable. Uh, let's see what it says for sufficient concentration. Oxygen. Co okay, so this is only looking at oxygen now. It's not looking at the gas. This was a gas overlay before. Is there now a gas overlay? Because I quite like that as a feature because, like, this here is carbon dioxide, so it's showing up as red because it's unbreathable. But this is a vacuum, and it's also showing up as red and unbreathable. So, uh, you know, and what's contaminated oxygen ain't going to end up looking like? I have all of these problems and questions, people. If only this was a live stream, you could answer them all for me now. Anyway, enough about my lack of friends. So, these guys are now cracking on quite nicely. So, uh, let, we're going we're gonna to stick some power in on this floor because... I, I want to try and keep things squinched up. I think we're going to have power over here. This is just going to be nothing for now because this is going to be our starting water supply. I think I should go upstairs for the beds. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do is go upstairs. We're going to drain, try and drain this down into this vacuum as soon as I can. Uh, one, two, three, four spaces, and then a roof. Remember not to get rid of the oxalite. The longer we can live off that, the better. Tell you what, we should have really come to an asteroid or meteor or whatever it is that had more oxalite. Bad scanning, whoever decided on this asteroid. Very bad scanning. Is there literally any oxygen anywhere? Polluted oxygen, nice. There's a little bit down here, but it's only 500 grams. Doesn't even seem worth digging down for. 2,000 grams of oxygen in there, that's very high pressure. But again, that's only enough to fill four blocks with breathable oxygen. I think I need to remain around the 500 mark. Um, that's another thing that I completely ignored in the last uh, series was was the volumes of oxygen. I was just like, oh, oxygen, that's fine. But actually, like there, there is five grams of, of polluted oxygen, where that's come from. Um, whereas here, there's 1,700 grams of uh, breathable oxygen. Now, if I go to... If I could figure somewhere where there'd be less. Yeah, see, that's oxygen there, but it's only 41 grams, so it's not breathable still. Um, so, yeah, you've got to be aware of that. Oop, everyone's idle. Everyone's idle. Why are you idle? Because I haven't given you any jobs to do. Granted, I will take that on board as partly my issue. Go on, then. Go dig in. You know, I'm one of these fair bosses that blames everyone else for everything. But on occasion, we'll take responsibility. If there's no one else to blame. Uh, right, one, two, three, and four. Let's just mark this so I remember. Oh, I should have... Ah, balls. I should have... I was meant to bring that one lower. That's fine. We'll do that in the future when we get the gas permeable tiles. Okay, we're going to try and get to beds as soon as possible because we are approaching bedtime. And we all know how shitty our colonists get if they haven't got anywhere to sleep. Speaking of which, are any of you lot snorers? Got to be Joe Bird, surely. No, no, she just farts. That's fine. She's a real lady. Uh, OG, do you pop? Are you a uh, you a scaredy cat? Oh, I feel I feel mean for for that. These are actually named after well, that Joba is technically my girlfriend, but the the other two are are co co colonists. Yes, colonists, but commenters on my videos. In case you were wondering where those names came from, they were not random. Uh, quick learn. Ooh, look at that, Madison. But you are narcoleptic. Yes, Madison was very happy in the last series because I think he died on the massage table. Which, given the the way that everyone was suffering in my last colony, he was he was quite happy with. I know there's no O2. Let's go. Let's time to. Uh, actually, let me just. That O2 started to fall down. Oh, it has. Nice. This is going to create quite a nice well. The only issue this is going to also create a, a well. But it'll push all that nice oxygen out, so that's fine. We're going to let that wait until this drops down a bit. Once we dig through to here, the oxygen will start pushing it out as well. So. It's all good news. Copper. Okay, let's make sure that we leave... Oh, shit, toilets. Don't forget toilets. You will be punished for regret for getting toilets. Now, the toilets are an interesting one, actually. Um, I actually, in my in my sort of test colony, I, I pushed... Ooh, you get the manual airlock already. That's nice. You have to unlock that before. Yeah, in the last uh, series, I actually put on that series, my last uh, practice playthrough, I put my toilet way off 
uh, on its own, which I'd like to do again, but I, I may need to build one, just in an emergency one. Otherwise, they're going to end up pooping everywhere. And I'd rather they didn't do that. Uh, where is it in? Is it plumbing? It is plumbing. So, hmm. We could put it down here in in the uh, in here because this is going to be hellish down here anyway. You know what we're gonna do? we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna uh, start putting the beds in now, so I don't forget. So I'm gonna leave a couple of gaps just because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about. I probably will end up with airlocks and things like that there. And then I want to leave a gap between each of them so that I can put pretty things in between them, or oxygen generation things. I know there's no oxygen. I'm pointing this out to my viewers since the beginning of this episode. Uh, yeah, let's try and encourage the uh, flow of carbon dioxide. There's <laughs> like a tiny little bit of oxygen there that they're both, they were both trying to get. I like the way that, that you know I can I can point them into areas where like. They will literally die within minutes because of the poisonous atmosphere in there. And they just go in there anyway. I need to dig through to this before night time. Because if they sleep here, they're going to have a terrible night's sleep. Don't know about you, but I like there to be oxygen when I sleep. It makes for a more peaceful night anyway. Right. I need this to start falling down more. Are you picking up uh, sandstone? That's fine. Oh, poor Madison. Come on, dig through to the oxalite, and then whoever gets this bit... Oh, Madison, you can't sleep there! Like, he must have, like, a very extreme form of narcolepsy if he's going to be literally sleeping there while they are mining on his head. I know, I've been in some meetings before in my previous life where I could have fallen asleep regardless. But that was boredom, not narcolepsy. There we go, right, we're going to start pushing in a little bit of oxygen, hopefully. Yes, look at that. Look at that bright turquoisey area. Just lay with your head on this side, whoever has that bed, and you'll be fine. There we go, uncovering it all. Though this is now going to dissipate a lot faster, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but we can live with that. Freaking hell, Joe. That's about the tenth time she's fought. She hasn't even eaten anything yet today. Then again, I suppose, what, what are we feeding them at the moment? Muck root and field rations. Probably not going to be great for your constitution. Should we break into this vacuum? No, we shall not. We will instead. Right, now they've done that, I want them to come and do this. Ah! I keep forgetting that it's not like I drag and let go to build. It's sort of drag and paint. Uh, Mrs. and Mr. Prioritizations. There we go. Come on, everyone, rush. Ignore all that work. What the hell? What, what have you guys done to you? Did they always have carry stuff like that? Or has he just literally got a bit of poop stuck to his back? Mm, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Right. This is going to suck in all of my oxygen that I don't have. Zoop. Zoop. See, this is the thing. Like Before, I could see the oxygen flow into here. But now, I, I can't because it's just... Ooh, 2,000, look, that's micrograms. So you think, wow, that's loads, but it's actually fuck all. There we go, right. Okay, well, the oxygen is... Come on, dissipating slightly. You are... Inhaling minus 98 grams of... of... Oh, that's just saying, because he's he's consuming it. That's fine. Right, there we go, guys, sleep. Right, we'll, uh, we'll wait till the morning, and then we'll pick it back up then. Okay, so our people are up and I've just been uh, marking out what the floor's going to look like. So I, as I, when I said about not doing a triangle thing, this is kind of what I meant. Uh, I was considering having steps, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to try it without steps in it, other than these little hollows in the, around the central ladder. Uh, but I am going to angle down the rooms like this, uh, because I still want the carbon dioxide to flow downwards as much as possible. And I feel like this helps in terms of not getting chunks of it stuck up and on the edges of the rooms that being said i could be completely wrong about that uh there was a thing that i discovered towards the end of the last series as well when i started using the electrolyzers that hydrogen obviously goes upwards so this 
upside down sort of pyramid doesn't really work for the hydrogen thing but i have a cunning plan for how we will avoid that situation um and if you've seen other people play you will have seen other people do the idea but um essentially it's going to be a um this one is just going to go up like that actually uh it's just going to be a centralized hydrogen oxygen production center where we use electrolyzers to produce both in a sealed container and then they will be pumped to the various places that they are needed that is my thinking that is my thinking is it good thinking we will see but it is still thinking that cannot be denied um so as we could fill in a little bit of this when i when i learn mouse control there we go uh, i don't want to fill in the water because i have a feeling that would be bad but yeah, that will link up. So that will create our first couple of floors. We're going to have bedrooms on top, um, powery things in the middle, and um, planty things that, down here. Uh, the reason for that is I don't. I know the. And one thing I know for certain is that the plants will get killed by um, by heat. So we need to try and avoid that if we can. Yay! They got a pooper. Don't no no. You don't tell me you need poop in when there is a pooper ready. That is adult talk go on madison go no madison don't do it ah there you go og oh my god that looks like a that either he's eaten something hot the night before or that is a big one ah, oh yeah i bet i know that feeling <laughs> oh my god hope oh, joba's turn she's gonna be very gassy if anything if her uh, previous performance is gonna be anything to go by she just looks more like bemused. What the hell's coming out of my butt? Ah, done. Anyway, let's know if we can't watch them play, go toilet all day. Just probably about half the day. Right, let's get our power up and running because I feel like we're going to be needing that. And we have a very high powered uh, athlete who is currently turned around doing nothing. Now, I need, I'm not sure what I'm going to do long term about power. Um, I am tempted to actually rely more on these. Um, the reason being that in my last uh, series and in my practice run through, coal started to become a big issue. Uh, in my last one, I only had one coal generator, which I didn't really build till later on. I tried to survive with manual production for as long as I could. Um, but yeah, it just I still found it to be a problem. Now, there is obviously quite a bit of coal around here, but... It seems that coal is another one of those resources that spawns a lot in your starting area. And then it may, the further out you go, it may spawn. But I have not seen that much beyond the starting area. So, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Where are we with algae? 100 kilos. That is not huge amounts. But we haven't really targeted algae yet. There's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Uh, so, I'm going to just cancel that one. We can go in here and collect up all this stuff. Um, in my practice playthrough as well, I got a bit dicked over on the algae. Like, it was miles away. I had a couple of patches to start me off, and then I had to go a long way. Whereas here, you know, you've got a big patch there, pretty big patch there. There's little dotted around scraps here and there. So, feeling a little bit more comfortable about this start in terms of the algae. Because, obviously, we are going to be relying on that for a little while. Oh, Madison. What are we going to do with you? He has cool hair, though. He looks almost even cooler when he falls asleep with his face on the floor. Right. Okay, they are now joining those up. We are going to need to put in another ladder, probably at the edges, I would have thought. I don't know, maybe. It's, I've just thought. That's, okay, that's... Are these, are these little plots of polluted oxygen from Joe Bird? I have a feeling they might be. I know she parked up there. Oh, is the carbon dioxide for catching down here at the moment? It looks like it is. To seal off this, it will definitely seal pull fall down to there. Uh, we might as well drop this down as well. Another la another layer, to be honest. To there. That way, it'll all full funnel down to there. That is very temporary. The toilets, I think, are probably going to end up going over here. Oh, it's running. Right, batteries. Where shall I put batteries? Tiny battery's going to get replaced. I made a mistake last time putting it somewhere that I later wanted to be a pretty area. 
I don't want to do that again. I'm just going to punk it here. I know this is actually quite pretty, but I don't generally care about this being pretty. We should also get to research as soon as physically possible because there's a couple of things on the research charts that we are going to need before we run out of some of the starting materials. Uh, power. There we go. There we go. Now, whenever they go for running, it should collect a little bit. Uh, drink. I bet they're not going to be able to... No, uh, they might be able to come around the back and build that one. Yeah, we'll decide what we're going to do on ladders. Um, we're going to end up having a mine coming out of here, so we may have a ladder scooched us around. Right, I'm thinking this would be a good thing to capture as my water tank. I think water tank is going to be next episode, to be honest. But uh, it's, it's really convenient if you can actually capture a water tank. Now, I don't want, generally, I don't like it being too low down because what I don't want is for there to be any way for contaminated water to run down into my main water tank. And I think I'll make it a little bit bigger so I don't lose any water while I dig it out. But I think that will be sufficiently sized for my, wa my water tank. And then contaminated water can run down and capture down here somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how that's going to work out, I think. Yeah, the research station is up. Open research and if you like farming first, let's just let's just go for that so that we can start getting uh, start getting some f uh, food going. Having said that, I haven't really collected many yet. When I get down here, I can collect all these. There's some new plants around as well. This bristle blossom was in the past, but I think they were a bit broken because they never seemed to actually grow. Uh, there's also this more bris bristle bl blossom. My god. I'm saying that after a few beers. Clawing up there. Okay, we are still. Yeah, we've still got lots of nice oxygen. And oh, yeah, that's work. The, the carbon dioxide is being forced down. I'm really happy with the fact that not much ended up down in here. That has made my life. My life complete because my life is sad and uninteresting. Uh, how are we doing on stress? Zero, still 0% zero stress. Oh, official. I am the winner. Oh, uh, what are you doing? How have you screwed that up? Hmm. <sighs> Just don't. What? That, that, that didn't work. How did that just suddenly go upwards? I guess I took away some of the volume. I need to be a bit aware as well. Uh, am I building walls out of sandstone right now? Yes, I am. It's the only thing I have. Um, I don't think sandstone is very good for building water tanks. I was watching Blitz's Krieg, uh, Blitz, whatever, playing this the other day, and he built a water tank out of sandstone, and it was on the other side of it. Well, it's actually a contaminated water tank, but on the other side of the... Um, tank with a contaminated water pool and it was just eating through the sandstone and now sandstone obviously you know it wouldn't be surprising if it wasn't wasn't a good material to use for um for storing water because it is naturally porous but i don't know i don't know if that's in this game so we're gonna have to see what other materials we've potentially got to build our water tank out of because the last thing i want to do is lose all of my water that being said, it may have not have been a water thing. It could have been a um, pressure thing because it was against a tank that was in very, very high pressure. So who knows? Who knows? Right, all that water's falling down into there. That's fine. We won't contaminate it with our pooper. I'm going to try and get to the main plumbing as soon as I can. Ooh, yeah, fabricate everything, please. Yeah, get to the main toilet and shower because that makes them a lot happier. Hopefully they'll, yeah, they'll collect up this water and use it. Look at that, full of power. That's generally because we're not using any power for anything. Makes sense. We should fix that. What can we currently make which requires power? Space heater. Hmm, that's a good point. How are we doing with our temperature? Um, okay, we still have the temperature over <laughs> molten. Nice. Uh, so everything is looking pretty temperate, apart from our actual duplicates, who are a bit hot. Um, so I'm going to go for, if it, if there's no colour, it's comfortable. Um, doesn't seem to contradict that in any way, so... Makes sense that the water would be very cold. Even though that water's 23 degrees, it's not that cold. 
In fact, it's actually warmer than the air, so I wouldn't. I'm not sure why the water. I mean, I know you lose temperature quicker, yada yada, in the, in the water, but I don't know why. Why, when the, the air is or the water is warmer than the air, that you would necessarily lose heat faster? Who knows? I'm not. A, I'm not a physicist. A YouTuber. I'm not even a very good one of them. So, anyway, right. Go to sleep, my pretties. Got to be early on day two. Because I'm playing on slow. That's fine. In the early parts, it's good to play on slow. Particularly when you forget to put it on to full speed. <sighs> but we are going to have to wrap the episode up soon. But I think we're making a good start. I think I'd say I wanted to get some of the uh, basic structure of the base in. Um, be a little bit careful about mining how what we do to mine this out. But like I said, I'm hoping this, they're just going to use this as a temporary water supply after they've picked up all this stuff. And then we can go from there. <sighs> Uh, right, let's plonk down our planters. Uh, if I can remember where they are, they should be in food, shouldn't they? I oh, know we're not quite there yet. The micro musho, I forgot we need that. Let's put the micro musho downstairs where the food's going to go. There's enough space for me to put in quite a lot of food there. Um. One thing to note as well, which I can't remember if I've said it already, is that one big mistake I definitely made in the last series was accepting lots of colonists. That is not how you play this game. Um, you are, you do not need 13 colonists, and if you end up with 13 colonists like I did, they're likely to start dying pretty quickly, which is exactly what happened to me. So what I'm going to aim for in this is probably about five colonists for the bulk of the start starting probably up to sort of 50 60 days kind of thing i don't think i'm gonna have more than five colonists um we're gonna not get another one right now i'd like to get to probably four pretty quick but uh unless we'll keep we're gonna be selective based on who we want obviously i, I only want bob uh only want vomiters and i want uh, i mean what am i missing right now um Construction I'm missing a bit. Most people I've got are not great at construction. Um, one. Ah, why don't you stay on stats, your penis breath. There we go. Uh, he's a four. I'm not too bad on construction. Yeah, see, Joe is a digger. Digger and creative, because I really need my creative. We've got a pretty good supply, but we'll see. We'll see what comes in. Digging's always good, obviously. Uh, eventually, this game just becomes about digging. So, you know, construction's really important early on, but actually, longer term, it's not too much of a pain. Uh, right, let's let's harvest the muckweed. Uh, bristle blossom, I'm not really too concerned about. The other thing we haven't done, which we really, really should be doing, is putting in some of these... Three of those should be sufficient to get us going. Uh, you can put everything in there. We'll empty out the organics at some point as soon as we have our toilet area set up properly. Ooh, speak of the devil. And they shall appear. Who you got to offer me today? Uh, vomitor, destructive, destructive. Okay, so when you are only potential. Athletics, constructing. Cooking wouldn't be terrible. I don't really have cooking uh, minus five expectations of decor, so you're pretty good. Oh, you could sleep with uh, with Madison in in a purely non-sexual way. Um, no, no, I think I think I think you can you can be returned to the void. Ooh, the oxalite is running out or run out to be say. Which means I'm gonna have to create a, a uh, algae burner, which I don't really uh, like. Because they're just like literally like burning algae for uh, for the purposes of survival, which I suppose survival's fairly important at times. Um, could plunk it on the end there. I feel like I'm going to plunk it there though. Oxygen will naturally rise, so this is nice. This is filling up with carbon dioxide quite nicely. Can we harvest all of? Uh, not harvest. Dig up all these. Ooh, you cold down there. Uh, you are stood in water. Let's have a quick look. You stood in 20 degree water, you freaking wuss. Last time, I went scuba diving in a quarry in Wales last year and it was 6 degrees centigrade at the, bay, at the bottom. 
That is cold. Then you, with that temperature, you're allowed to moan. 20 degrees, don't moan. Clearly not British if you're moaning. Uh, oh, they all sound asleep. So I think I'm actually going to wrap it up there because I'm going to be running way over if I don't. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. As I say, this was just the first getting the colony off the ground. Uh, I may play a little bit between now and the next episode just to finish off some of this digging and the, some of the floor work so that then we can just focus on building the cool stuff and all the exciting stuff. But I'm going to try not to get too far ahead this time. So if you do have comments and thoughts and suggestions and things like that, please do feed them into me because I will hopefully, as I say, not be recording the entire series in two days be like an overexcited child. So we will see, though. We will see what happens. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I've been Timmy. Uh, this has been Oxygen Not Included. I hope very much you enjoyed uh, this episode, and I hope very much you'll check back for the next one.